Hello everyone, welcome to the Take Care Man channel. My name is Todd. In this video we're going to do our third and final artisan from the state of Tennessee. And this is the Limeade Soap from the Shave Mercantile. We're going to lather that up with the Pacific Shaving Company's Cork Handled Synthetic Brush. Feather Commissory SS with the Feather Super Professional Blade. We're going to follow all that up with the Royal Lime Aftershave. All right, so let's get in here, get this proto lather kind of off of the tub and onto the face. I got a lot of excess here. So the soap has a little bit of an orangish tint to it. Change the exposure there so you can see it a little bit. So the limeade soap has notes of lime and orange with a hint of lemon. And those are all essential oils. I reached out to Ethan at the Shave Mercantile and ask him about uh, his uh, soaps. And I knew that there once was a artisan in Tennessee called Music City Suds. And Music City Suds is actually the artisan that makes this soap for the Shave Mercantile. So it's under the Shave Mercantile brand. And it's made by the couple Danny and Rachel Mullins at Music City Suds. They have other products, but as far as their shave soaps, they're selling those through the Shave Mercantile under the Shave Mercantile brand, which is owned by Ethan Chastain. All right, let's get some water into this brush. So this base is a vegan soap base, and this particular scent was designed to be good for those with sensitive skin. So they chose essential oil that generally does well for people's skin. And also tried to create a base that would also be uh, less likely to cause problems for people. Looks like this could still take a lot of water, so I'm just adding some in a little bit at a time here. Now I have to be aware that I have a week's worth of growth. It was a uh, week ago today that I did my high point shave uh, at Cleanman's Dome in Great Smoky Mountain National Park. And that was the second of our three Tennessee artisans. We had already done Hendrix Classics and Company, and then in the Clingman's Dome Shave, we did Lakewood Soap Company, and this is the Shave Mercantile. The shavemercantile.com. I'll have a link in the description to that and to Music City Suds. Ethan has a number of different brands that he sells there, and he has the in-house brand that we're talking about, the Shave Mercantile, which is done by Danny and Rachel Mullins over at Music City Suds. All right, so I think that's lathered uh, well enough. Oftentimes for me, the lather, the lather can look a little grainy when I have a whole lot of growth underneath, so I have to be aware of that. So I, was, I decided to stop hydrating the soap and I just go ahead and get in here the shave. I still have the uh, Nick stick standing by, which I've uh, tried to use in the first Tennessee Artisan shave, did use a little bit in the second one uh, at Cleanman's Dome. And so again, to tempt fate, going back in with the Feather uh, SS with a, a Feather Super Professional Blade. So I'm actually gonna turn the hat around. Uh, I took a shower last night, but I've already been out and about this morning running some errands and so I uh, had the hat on uh, from the night's uh, hat hair. Let me get a little bit more lather right there.
right, since I rinse uh, with my commissory instead of wiping it off, my hands do, my hands do sometimes tend to get a little uh, wet. So just drying off the handle here. Try to be more more mindful of my splash zone when rinsing off the commissory. Okay, let's. Um, I think it was Doug Baird that commented when I did the shave with the commissory. With the uh, Hendrix Classic and Company soap. <laughs> he said something about you one arm bandits kill me. I think what he means is that those of us that just shave with, you know, just our dominant hand because I'm not uh, just have not been able to get good with the left hand. Honestly, I haven't practiced uh, practiced enough, but it works fine for me like this. And I know I've heard others say that it's gonna you know it make it harder. When you do need to, you know, use both hands with some of the straight razors. But there are people out there who actually uh, use their straight razors, meaning the folding straight razors, with um, just one hand. So, um, got a couple of giveaways to draw the winners for, so I'm going to do that during the shave. So one of the reasons I'm, I'm kind of settled, and I've got a couple of folding uh, shavettes that use the Feather Artist Club. Actually, I've got one. Um, it's sort of a Ka uh, knockoff or Ka style one. One reason I've, I've been using uh, the uh, Shavettes is because I'm just more comfortable knowing that I'm using a blade that's as sharp as it needs to be. I had my friend Ken uh, hone my Ralph Aust and a uh, Go dollar, and he also included a razor. That he had that he honed up for me. And I also won a, another straight razor in a um, charity giveaway. Or I'd like to say call it a benefit giveaway. Even though I think those those razors were honed great, I was stropping uh, them wrong, at least the wrap offs, because I'm used to sharpening and stropping. Um, so I have sharpened pocket knives a lot and also have a sort of a flat strop I use for those. And with a, a pocket knife, you have to lay the blade on there at an angle because the angle's not matched with the spine. Like, even though knives have spines, they don't have a traditional spine like with a uh, straight razor and that spine on a straight razor is designed to be equal to the edge so you can just lay it flat 
And so when I was stropping, I was actually rolling the edge on my razor by stropping it. Anyway, I just wanted to, as I got more comfortable with the open uh, blade razors, I wanted to take out uh, any of the variables like me, you know, uh, not maintaining the edge well enough. And that's the other thing, like I'm just, sometimes I'm in a hurry or, I'm, you know, just not, um, you know, wanting to take the time to strop or whatever. And so being able just to throw in an artist club blade into this commissory uh, is much easier uh, for me to do on a consistent basis. And I, you know, I wish I was the kind of person that could do, you know, a better job of managing my time and being able to, you know, use straights a little more. And uh, hopefully I will. That's, you know, part of what I'm uh, working towards. But using these just takes a variable out. All right, so before we get into this uh, second pass, I've been rambling here, let's get into giving away the Ginger's Garden uh, Citrus Ice Soap and the Splash. And so I entered all the comments that had the hashtag GG and then gave uh, a choice of which soap at Ginger's Garden sounded interesting to them. And the winner was, I think it was six total comments. The winner was Dave in Kentucky. So Dave, I'll be shipping this out uh, to you. I'll get your address from you and ship it out. And we will announce after the second shave, we'll announce the winner of the Sterling giveaway. All right, so let's go back in here with the second pass. Uh, against the grain. I really enjoy doing that uh, video, you know, not just doing the shave, but also just editing the video for the high top shave on Klingman's Dome because it was able to incorporate a lot of footage that uh, both my daughter and myself and my wife uh, shot while we were on our uh, brief trip to the Smokies. So, you know, often you know, people think, well, you know, it's in the same state, wouldn't take you long to get to the Smokies, and it doesn't. It's just about a five, well, more of like a six hour drive for us to get over to Gatlinburg. But here's an interesting geographic fact. So if you're in Bristol, Tennessee, you can be in Canada before you can be in Memphis, Tennessee. Look it up, it's a fact. You're actually closer to Canada than you are to Memphis. Uh, we're going against the grain, so. So my daughter um, started college courses. She's a, she just finished up her junior year of high school but the school where I teach has a rising senior program where as a student that's about to be a senior in high school, you can take uh, college courses during the summer. So she's taking an intro to psychology and a English uh, composition or writing course right now. And they're just four weeks, cor four week courses, so they run pretty fast. And she's also working so she's super busy right now. And I'm teaching three classes currently this summer. Came in, that's the, the no-no, is to come in, you know, come in too straight there. I'm sure this is a way for a lot of people, but I 
the uh, area around the mouth and the chin. are the most difficult for me with these open blades. Hmm? A little nick there. I think that was from previous though. Meaning not that stroke. Got some nicks here. So we're going to get to use the nick stick. So good slickness on this soap. Um, the scent is rather uh, mild. I would I would give it like a maybe a four or five. So mild, medium mild. I would say a f like a four, like a four point five out of ten on scent strength. But it performs uh, really well. All right, let's check and see. We've got our usual suspects here. Let's lather this up. So the second giveaway is for the uh, Mountain Man Aftershave Splash from Sterling. You can see there it's uh, basically full. I've used it, I think, once, maybe twice. And the two unscented, the uh, Naked and Smooth sample, uh, still in the wrapper, and the unscented with beeswax uh, sample from Sterling. And so I entered uh, the hashtag King, which was what uh, you were supposed to use for that one and use the YouTube random comment picker and the winner was uh, James D. I think there was only four people who uh, did that one and it was kind of buried deep into the video and so four people uh, watched it at least far enough to um, to see where the uh, giveaway information was and entered the correct hashtag of King and so James D is the winner. And James D, if you'll either um, just reach out to me, I'll put my email here on the screen. Uh, Todd Stanfield, so it's spelled like this, T-O-D-D-S-T-A-N-F-I-E-L-D at gmail.com. And, or if uh, you will click on my Instagram link below uh, or my Facebook link below, you can send me a message that way. Uh, and I can get the soap uh, out to you once I get your address, the soap and the splash. Okay, so let's kind of get these uh, pickups going here. Close, call that close enough. Often on these nicks, just the cold water will seal them off. So I don't have any that are sort of actively bleeding, but I'm still going to use it. I want to get to show you up close in the um, shave on Cleman's Dome. But that's the way the um, roller ball looks. It's just a little mini roller ball uh, in the nick stick from Pacific Shave Company. Yeah, we got a little blood there. 
So not only does this have the stuff that's in the styptic pencil, and I read that during the last shave, and I'm forgetting what it's called now, but it's also got the aloe and I think al uh, alcohol. Another little nick right there. So we still don't have a like a really active bleeder. I'm going to keep this uh, here, uh, obviously in the shave den, and any time uh, that I'm going to have one of those, which I'm sure I will in the future shave, we will uh, try it out on its ability to stop uh, the nick. So this is uh, the Royal Lime. Uh, they make a, uh, the Royal Lime Company makes like a, um, uh, or maybe called Royal Bermuda. What's it called? Anyway, Royal Lime is their main one, I think. But they have a Bay Rum and like a Vetiver and a Mandarin Orange. They have several. And the cheapest place I've found to get these are at like a FragranceNet.com or a FragranceX. I'll try to link those below if, it ha if either one of them ha currently has this. But it's pretty expensive, but you see it much cheaper there uh, than you do el elsewhere. So this is, um, it's, a, it's a really cool bottle. I don't know how well you can see that. It's embossed. I guess that's what you call that um, with the Royal Lime and then it has the label on the front. But it's an alcohol-based splash uh, slash cologne. In fact, it's called All Purpose Lotion. Uh, but it's not lotion-y like a balm. It's a, it's an alcohol-based splash. And I'm sure I'm going to feel this alcohol after using that uh, commissory. Mm-hmm. I do feel the alcohol. Let's get a little more. Hats gotten knocked sideways <laughs> this is a it's a, a it, it's the royal lime scent is pretty close to a natural lime scent it smells more like the pithiness of the lime like the uh, the zest and then that white part the pith in the lime but it's also got a subtle woodiness and a subtle sweetness underneath it's a really nice it's a really nice scent yeah, so overall, I'd say that's a pretty that's a pretty good shave. Uh, so again, we were using our third and final Tennessee artisan uh, for the shave mercantile, and the soap is actually made by let me look at their name again, Danny and Rachel Mullins at uh, Music City Suds. So I'll have the shave mercantile link below as well as Music City Suds. This is the limeade. So they have a scent that really interests me that they're currently out of. Uh, called lavender wood so it was like lavender and then some like woody uh, essential oils like maybe cedar wood or something like that that really interests me i'm not a, as you know i'm not a huge like huge huge citrus fan just because i think citrus can be kind of boring because you smell citrus so often but this is a really good mix here it um so you're probably familiar of course i'm going to talk about food um you're you're probably familiar with lemon meringue pies but um, my family in the South, we used to make something called uh, like a lemon icebox pie. It's more like a, I don't know, cream cheese and sweetened condensed milk pie. And you would often put like lemonade in there. So it's like, like a lemonade icebox pie. But there used to be this drink called Five Alive. I think it's what it was called. But it was basically, you bought it next to the orange juice. At least this is true like in the 80s, maybe the 90s, partially part of the 70s. Can't remember exactly. But uh, people started making what they called Five Alive icebox pies or Five Alive pies. Um, I'll try to roll in a picture of that old container if it's available out there. But anyway, that was a craze for a while. And so with this lime, orange, and lemon, it reminds me the way those um, Five Alive, the Five Alive juice uh, and those Five Alive pies smell. So yeah, now basically I want pie. Um, yeah, that was a good shave. I don't get to use this. Uh, that often so it was really nice to be able to use this uh, royal lime i do enjoy that uh, it's really cool heavy like uh, it's like a metal top or cap on there and the glass is really heavy so this is this is a really nice i really like and enjoy this bottle i um, need to rinse out the pacific shaving cork brush cork handle brush a synthetic brush i really love this brush um, i really enjoyed having it you know, when i was hiking there in the smoky mountains national park and did that high top shave it's perfect for that type of scenario but this is going to be my travel brush i think uh, regardless of where i'm traveling i really really enjoy it it's a great it's a great brush I encourage you to check it out and of course i enjoy the feather ss kamasori 
Um, we did pretty good with that today. I know I'm still slow on it, but I enjoy shaving with that. And again, I wanted to sort of tempt fate with the Nick stick. So yeah, that's our three Tennessee artisans. We did Hendrix Classics and Company, and I'll have some more coming from them. Uh, Lakewood Soap Company, I used the Smoky Mountain Rain in the Cleman's Dome Shave. My favorite from them is the Mr. Powell's Mellow Honey Mash. Yeah, this one. This is excellent. Love this scent. And then we used the Shave Mercantile's Limeade. So that's our three Tennessee artisans. I enjoyed featuring our artisans from Tennessee. Hope you enjoyed those three shaves as well. And we'll probably do our next shave with a holy cow shave. And again, Dave in Kentucky, James D, contact me and I'll get you hooked up uh, with those giveaways that you won. So um, yeah, kind of all over the place today in the shave. I apologize, but I appreciate you watching as always. Until next time, take care, man. Mm-hmm.